So I recently picked up a Dremel Stylo Plus for wood carving. Now how does this compare to a traditional Dremel? Well I'm going to show you guys in this video as well as teach you some cool wood carving ideas you will want to know. Before we move on to the wood carving tutorial, let's discuss this right here. I mean, look how small this is. What is this made for? That's the number one question that I see on this. Well, I will tell you, look how small it is. The motor is built in. What does this tell us when compared to a regular Dremel with a flex shaft attachment? Well, this is made to be a light duty, versatile tool for a lot of hobbyists. If you keep your demands reasonable with this right here, it can be a valuable tool for your tool bag. And one feature I like is the cord right here. This is like six foot or something. Now look at the end of it. It fits right into this power adapter right here. You can just put it right in there and plug this in. And while you're carving, this power cord's so thin, it doesn't get in the way. You know, when compared to a tr traditional flex shaft like this, it has a thicker wire. And if I flip this over, you can see the power button right here. This is what actually turns it on. Now over here, you will find the lock button. And what this does is when you put a burr in, you hit the button right here, it locks it in. You insert your burr and you hit that lock button again and tighten everything up. On the rotary dial right here, you can see it goes from one to five. Now one is between five and 7,000 RPMs. And when you go to five, this is anywhere between 19 and 22,000. Now we are moving on to the actual carving. Now here is a question I get a ton and I need you guys to listen to me. People ask Matt, where in the world do I start carving? Where do I get the wood? What images do I do? And I'm gonna tell you something very simple that I do that is fun and effective. Obviously you can get stencils online, but I get simple stencils like this. If you're just starting out, this is great. I got this for like two bucks. Now for the wood, what do you get? Well, a good simple wood to start out with is base wood. Listen, go to local craft stores or get on Amazon and order you some cheap boxes like this and start learning to wood carve this way. So just start out simple and I promise you can do it. So the first thing we're gonna do is put our stencil up and line it up on here. After you get everything nice and even, you wanna take some tape and put it on the edges. This just ensures the stencil will not move while we pencil in some marks there. Okay, a piece of chalk would work for this, but I'm just gonna use a pencil. Okay, let's take this off. I think it's looking pretty good. Okay, now we are going to take our stylo and begin wood carving. Now the way I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna use the bigger round carbide burr right here just to hog out the bigger areas right here. And I'm gonna use the smaller burr for the antlers and the hard to get to areas like the, the leaf up here, the antlers and everything like that. Now, before we start, we have to make sure that we have the right safety gear. And I need you to listen to me. You see these glasses right here? They are safety glasses, but they are fog proof. I will have all the links and everything below to the specific gear I use um, just below in the video here. And here is my dust mask right here. You're gonna find that your breath sometimes leaks up and it will fog up your glasses. That's why we want fog proof. So we're just gonna gear up here and start carving. Don't look too bad, does it? Okay, the power button is right here. We're gonna turn this on. I'm gonna start out at one. And while this thing is super quiet, I'm gonna go ahead and bump this up probably to about around four and see how that does. And we're just gonna start with the edges of the deer right here. I'm very impressed with how well this is carving right here. Even at number four, it has taken up a lot of material. So it does have a nice kick of horsepower behind it. Thank you. 
Okay guys, listen to me right here. When you're doing this, you have two ways to go. When you go left, this burr is spinning to the right. So when I do this, the bird's gonna catch the wood and remove a lot of stock. Like that. Now if you go to the opposite direction, which the way the burr is spinning, it's just gonna run off. And so sometimes I go to the left to remove a lot of stock, and I'll go to the right to smooth it out. I hope you guys caught that. We're not looking to carve deep. We're just doing a very, very light carving here, okay? Okay, this is turning out pretty good. I'm highly impressed with this stylo right here. Now for the next part, we are using this small burr. I'm gonna insert this and just go along the side of the antlers and also along the sides of the design right here and then finish up with a bigger burr. I would like to take a quick moment to thank our sponsors which is me, <laughs> go check out howtowoodcarve.com. It's a free site that I put together. Go sign up. All kinds of content is going on there you will not see on YouTube. Go check it out. Okay, and we are done with the initial carving, but we are not through yet. And I need you guys to listen to me. I'm about to share a huge secret with you. Listen up, okay? There's two things I wanna show you. Well, with this burr right here, we can still do a lot of cleaning. What we wanna do when we turn this on, since the burr is spinning to the right, just lightly press down and go to your right and that smooths everything out. Now the second way is to take some sandpaper. This is a little bit harder right here and just go through there. These bristle discs right here are another excellent way to clean up in the hard to get to areas. You just wanna run these on a low RPM. Wow, I love the way this turned out right here. I couldn't be happier. And just think guys, it all started with this stencil right here. Well, I can honestly say I am pretty impressed with this. I had no hiccups at all. And look at this. I mean, seriously, that was so simple to do. And you guys can do this. If you can trace with a pencil or color with a crayon, imagine you're just taking your Dremel and coloring. Guys, that's all it is. You can do more than just wood carve with this. I've seen people carve leather. I've seen people etch on glass. If you keep your demands reasonable, I think this will be a great tool. It has its time and place and I look forward to using this a lot more. I will have this tool available below in my affiliate links. Now do me a favor, if you haven't already, consider subscribing. I'm putting a lot of content out and hit the like button, that really helps. And also, howtowoodcarve.com. Have you guys forgot? Go sign up, seriously. I have all kinds of stuff coming out. And also, leave me a comment below. Let me know what you're working on. I wanna interact with you guys, so just leave me a comment below. And I will see you in the next video.